This is question three. Here we're told that buses to Acton leave a bus station every 24 minutes. We're told that buses to Barton leave the same bus station every 20 minutes. We're told that a bus to Acton and a bus to Barton both leave the bus station at 9am. And we're asked, when will a bus to Acton and a bus to Barton next leave the bus station at the same time? So a couple of different ways you could do this. Uh, I think the simplest way to explain it is by simply listing times. So if we write out Acton and Barton and just list the times at which they will be leaving the bus station. So buses to Acton will be leaving every 24 minutes. So we know that it's going to be leaving at 9. Then we know that it's going to be leaving at 9.24. Then at 9.48. Then at uh, 10.12. So 24 minutes on. Then at 10.36. Then at 11 o'clock. and then at 11.24, and we'll just stop there. Let's do the same thing with Barton, and just count along every 20 minutes. So they leave the bus station every 20 minutes. So it'll be leaving at nine o'clock, then at 9.20, then at 9.40, then at 10, then at 10.20, 10.40 and 11. Now there I'm just going to stop because I've now got a time, I've now got the same time in both lists. So the next time at which they will both be leaving the station is going to be 11 o'clock. So my answer to this question is going to be 11 o'clock. The other way that you could think about this is that Essentially, what I've just done here is I've listed multiples of 20 and multiples of 24. And so I could work out the lowest common multiple of 20 and 24, which would be 120, and then just add on 120 mins, uh, sorry, 120 minutes to 9 o'clock, which would be two hours. And we can see that that works out in exactly the same way. Um, so, as I said, two different ways you can do it. You can either do it by listing the times at which they leave the bus station, or you can work out the lowest common multiple of 24 and 20, which is 120 minutes, and then add that onto the original time. So adding on 120 minutes, adding on two hours, either way, you're going to get a final answer of 11 o'clock.